Oh. oh. Did you know, according to the World Health Organization, that an estimated 350 people suffer from depression? No, I do not. That's like 5% of the world's population. Today I will talk about depression. I recently learned this disorder in my psychology class, and I'm currently taking it. It's interesting if you're about it, but you guys probably have a good knowledge on it already. Um, most of you have probably learned about this in health class in the if you ever attention. No Today I will explain <laughs> the depression. I will explain depression a little bit in depth and then give some causes and effects of depression. Okay. So the word depression is derived from the Latin word that Deprime, which means to press down or depress. Um, most words today that we speak in English, they come from Latin words, usually the root tone. Depression is a mood disorder characterized by overwhelming feelings of sadness, lack of interest, inactivities, and perhaps excessive guilt or feelings of worthlessness. Um, there are two main types of depression. Recurrent depressive disorder, which is repetitive episodes of depression that usually last for two weeks. This is the most common. Most people have that. Um, the second one is not very common. It's bipolar affective disorder. It consists of both manic and depressive episodes. Manic is another word for frantic. It just means you have them more often. And you can go from happy to sad really quick. Um, depression can be a result of several factors. Traumatic instances, these can include death of a loved one, loss of a job, accidents, relationship breakups. Anything can trigger depression. Um, anything that's like well traumatic or anything that happened. Health issues, as people get older, they cannot perform tasks that they could when they were younger. Therefore, they start feeling useless. Um, a good example is my grandma, she's like 90 and she always feels like she's bugging us whenever she calls us and we try to make her feel like she's not useless because she really does mean a lot and it's going to be hard when she does die. She does feel depression a lot. Um, in some ways depression is preventable, like some of the cases. You can pretty much get over a lot of things, but there's some people who have something wrong with them to the point that they can't get over depression, and it usually results in them taking their life. Um, if depression is left untreated, it can lead to suicide. Over 50% of people who commit suicide commit it from major depression. Uh, women are more likely to attempt suicide than men, but men are more likely to succeed. Men, um, they're more violent when they commit suicide so they usually succeed. Women just usually do things like cut their wrist but men usually just take a gun. Um, it can also lead to cutting. This usually happens in adolescence. People cover that up with long sleeves, bracelets, anything because people usually make fun of them when they see it. Okay, in conclusion I have successfully informed you about depression. Now you have learned some of the information that might be helpful, that might help another person, or helpful, or be helpful in saving a life. Any questions? <laughs>